Today, when we analyze throughout the world, there are more females as compared to males. In New York alone, there are 1 million females more than males. In USA alone, there are 7.8 million females more than males. In UK alone, there are 4 million females more than males. In Germany alone, there are 5 million females more than males. In Russia alone, there are 9 million females more than males. And God alone knows how many millions of females are more than the males throughout the world. If I agree with a non-Muslim, that every man should marry only one woman. And suppose my sister, or suppose your sister happens to live in USA, and if the market is saturated, every woman has found a life partner for herself. Yet, there will be 7.8 million females who will not find husbands. And if, unfortunately, your sister or my sister happens to live in USA, and if she's amongst one of those 7.8 million females, who has not found a husband, what's the option she has? The only option she has is that she either marries a man who already has a wife, or she becomes public property. <laughs> public property? Many people say, Dr. Zakir Nai, such a harsh word. It is the most sophisticated word I can use. I cannot think of a better word. There's no option. She either marries a man who already has a wife or becomes public property. In America, having mistresses is very common. The American statistics tell us, on an average, a man has eight different sexual partners before he settles down with one. Eight different. Some may have five, some may have ten, some may have twenty. Eight different sexual partners before he marries. After marry, how many has the statistics doesn't say that. But before he marries, he has, on an average, eight different sexual partners. Having mistresses in America is common, no problem. 10, 20, no problem. Having two wives doesn't go down their throat. You know, when a woman becomes the second wife of a man, she gets honor, she gets a right. She lives a very peaceful life with grace, with honor, with all her rights. And when a woman is a mistress, she doesn't get her rights. She has no protection. She leads a life of disgrace. Therefore, Islam permits some men to have more than one wife to protect the woman. And I do agree. If someone tells me that no woman would like to share the husband, I agree with them. I don't argue. I agree with you that no woman under normal circumstances would like to share the husband. But the Islamic Sharia says, let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. That means a good Muslimah who knows the situation of the world would not mind sharing a husband to prevent her sister from becoming a public property. You ask any modest woman, would she prefer becoming the wife of a man who already has a wife or becoming public property? Any modest woman would choose the first one.